Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cat Williams, and you are listening to Three Point Conversion Radio. All right, let's get started with questions. Uh, we'll start with Rod Boone and then go to Steve Reed. Hey, LaMelo, uh, career high, uh, seven three-pointers for you tonight. Um, several are coming behind a three-point line, you know, far lately for you, man. Distance-wise, just how is that shot helping you expand your game? And do you think your opponents respect your three-point shot out there? Uh, on the opponents, I ain't really, you know me, I ain't never really looked at that. So I always had confidence in my shot. I always believed I could shoot. It's just, just making shots now, I guess. Lamelo, uh, you know, when James uh, Borrego said, you know, he said there were some concerns when, when they initially started scouting you, but then they went out to L.A. and they noticed that confidence that yeah. you had when they went out and saw you. And he said, I'm not worried about it anymore. It's just there's a confidence about him. I was just curious, did anyone ever try to change your shot? And did you did you deflect that and say, you know, uh, or, or did you always stick? Man, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ton of stories, for real. I mean, uh-huh. I went, they usually try to change my shot. But like I said, I always stick with it myself. I said, this is how I shoot. I'm confident in it. Feel good letting it go. I mean, came here, they low-key tried to adjust it a little, but I was like, ah, this is how I shoot. So pretty much my whole life just stuck with it. Let's go to Nick Carboni. Lamelo, during that draft process, I mean, how big of a focus was three-point shooting for you? And how big was that visit that they paid you where you were able to shoot in front of them uh, and to, to kind of Get convincing them that, that they should pick you? Uh, I wasn't really too big on it. I, like I said, I always believed I could shoot. I always felt I could shoot. So I was pretty much just working on my game. And then when they came, it was pretty much like another workout, just working on my game. And then they saw it. And I was making shots. So that's how that went. Let's go to Sam and then Richard. Hey, Lamello, congrats on the win. That's two straight games. You guys gave up less than 100, just seven points there in the fourth quarter. Defensively, I mean, what is kind of driving this team right now where you've been so successful on that side of the ball? Pretty much we just all locking in, you know, bringing a lot of energy. Uh, the first three quarters, we didn't really get get how we wanted to be. Uh, the coaches wanted some stops and more stops, but then fourth quarter, we all locked in, and that's what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm done? Richard, go now, Richard. Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Right. LaMelo, the, the, the alley-oops that you threw to, to Miles had a small margin of error, and yet they seemed to get through the defense. I mean, is that more chemistry, a gamble on your – Did you were you sure they would work? Because there's one that if you watch the replay, it's almost impossible that it got through two and maybe even three defenders. But like we've said before, you guys have had a chemistry from the start. I mean, did you think there was much risk involved in a couple of those? Uh, no, I don't really think we think like that. I mean, it's just me and MB, we got a lot of trust in each other. So I'm usually when I see him rolling. He always tells me you can throw it, and then he just, he just does rest and go gets it. So, yeah, much love. Let's go to Mike Salarte. Hey, LaMelo, uh, what is it about your game over the last week, two weeks, that is really starting to feel like home for you? I mean, it, it seems like you're really settling in. Is it being able to start? I and mean, where are you finding your comfort right now? Just as time goes on, I'm playing more basketball. I mean, getting into it. I mean, we had a long break with COVID. And now it's a new year. Instead, we're still playing. So now I'm just kind of getting the rhythm. Let's uh, let's wrap up with Danny Thompson. Last question. LaMelo, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. Tonight, you, set, you tied a franchise record for rookies with seven three-pointers with PJ and uh, DJ Augustine. Did you do something different in warm-ups tonight compared to what you've done the previous 24 games, or was anything different? Oh, yeah, like I was saying outside in the last interview, I mean, they had me waiting at my house because COVID testing, something went wrong or something. So I really didn't get my shoot around that I usually do. Came late. And I guess I was just hitting for real. Yeah, I really didn't get my same routine, none of that. All right, thanks, Lamelo. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's all for tonight. Thank you.